This could take over mama. Maybe I've overhyped it. Here we are. Hey. I don't even like stuffing. I'm, I'm just going to put myself out there. I don't. I know everyone's like, yeah. the stuffing. Dude, you're taking breadcrumbs and you. shoving it up a fucking turkey's asshole, basically, and then baking it. I mean, I don't get it. That's and the I, way I like it. I'd rather eat risotto. Ooh. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. You don't even like risotto. Like, what the fucking fuck? <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Fuck. Mm. And now you're under uh -oh. the Hold on. Well, don't worry if you missed it that time. I'm backing it up about a thousand times. I'd rather <laughs> eat risotto. Now, there's more. Let me back this up because I promise this rocks. Let's hear it again in full. <laughs> Basically, and then baking it. I mean, I don't get it. That's and the I way I like it. I'd rather eat risotto. <laughs> Ooh. Well, no, you wouldn't. You don't even like it. Every Wait, are you front? Yeah, why are you front? I had it recently. It was okay. good. All right. <laughs> First of all, I'd rather have her. And it's kind of like when Martina Marcota went, America, fuck it. And she didn't quite have the confidence to round it out at the end or finish it up. I'd rather. Are they dying? Thank you so much for understanding. Also, Thank this you. Guy fool They're tracker. dying in the chat. Everyone's dying at home. I hope you're. Come on, guys. Start dying at home. This guy, Fool Tracker, right at the beginning of the show's. Or Fool's Parade. Sorry. He goes, Jules, I caught Hila saying the dumbest shit. I hope and it was this? this? I cried. Holy yeah, fuck. I Hila say risotto. Okay, so watch this again. So, first of all, she's going, I'd rather eat risotto. Now, <laughs> Ethan has never had risotto with her. I said to Jules, I go, this would be as crazy as if you said, because me and Jules have never had risotto yet together. No. We just haven't had the opportunity. I'm sure we would like it. But if Jules said to me, I'd rather have risotto, I'd go, what? <laughs> this is what's happening here. So is Hila some kind of sneak? She's sneaking out and having Italian lunches? <laughs> sneaking out and going to Gordon Ramsay's uh, Hell's Kitchen? Let's zoom in. On this fucking whack weirdo, I think all the Teddy Fresh puff screen printing ink is getting to her brain. Listen to this again while we zoom in. Zoto. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. I know everyone's like, yeah. the stuffing. Dude, you're taking bread I'm crumbs and you. shoving it up a fucking turkey's asshole, basically, <laughs> and then baking it. I mean, I don't get it. Oh, it's just... That's and the way I, I like it. I'd rather eat risotto. Ooh. <laughs> okay. It's almost, there's something here. I'm trying to articulate all this. It's almost like, what is it about this? You know, it's almost like she, she knows herself. She's not going to be able to pull this off. And I want to show you, so, oh, sorry, Ruben. I want to show you Ethan's uh, response here. Because this is like learning that your wife has a secret double life, right? You know, watch this. That's the way I, I like it. I'd rather eat risotto. Ooh. No, you what? wouldn't. You don't even like risotto. Why are you trying to... No, you wouldn't. You don't even like risotto. Imagine this. Isn't this something else? Watch this. I like it. Every... Wait, are you fronting? Yeah, why are you fronting? I had it recently. It was okay. good. All right. <laughs> wow. You know, I don't like to do body language stuff, but that's the face of a guy going, well, what other secrets do you hold? Let's uh, watch Hila try to get out of this one here. I hope you like this. I mean, it's not the most adult content, but people. I, love are, that. I bet people are like, wait, he hates politics, but this is what we should be into. Yes. Yeah, yes. I, I actually Absolutely. think I actually do. I think this is better for you than arguing about government all yes. day. We'll tell you this. The, uh, Alex Jones was on Revenge of the Sis, Mersh's podcast. People were amazed. How did he get him? How did he get him? It's easy to get. We actually have Alex Jones coming up as well, but we're going to not do the interview. It's just we're going to have him on, and then I'm going to close it, and then I'm going to go see anyone could get him. Um, but they sat around, and they talked about government for two hours. Serious, no jokes, government, politics. We must rethink what's going on. By we, I mean you. I, I'm completely good. Um, but, uh, guys... Are you in social studies class all day, every day? This is what you like? History? I mean, it's not even history. Literally, history class or social studies in sixth grade is more entertaining than what you're up to right now. 
every day you're just discussing politics and the government. And I like to use this word government. You know, because politics sounds almost fun now. Uh, You're just listening to people discuss the government. We must wake up. We must pull ourselves out of this. This is never, you were never intended to work on another man's career all day. It would be like, let's pretend the CEO of Samsung was as popular as Donald Trump. And all of you just concentrated on the day-to-day business operations of Samsung's factories and distribution and just talked about, it would be insane. And this is what you fixated on. It's not your fault. They made it juicy, but you must pull out. This isn't doing you any favors. It You, you went four years. You gave it a four-year run. The, are you better? Do you like where you're at? Or do you find yourself really pissed off every day? Would you rather talk politics or would you rather eat risotto? Zoto! I'm telling you, you need a break from all this. Here at Red Bar, we've resisted the temptation of pandering directly to these politicos. All right. Every other show has gone politic. Really, every other show, even you talk Joe Rogan used to be a lifestyle show. That show is about COVID. Gavin Newsom, lockdowns, the election. That's mostly what's going on on that show now. Um, Don't lose yourself to the day in and day outs of other men's careers. Unless it's these careers, (laughs) of course, which I believe is better for your heart. It is. It's better. It's uh, would you rather go to a theme park or a field trip to the government building? Washington. Well, that might be exciting. Once. (laughs) You know, when I was a kid and they're like, hey, everybody, we're going to Southern Illinois to visit Springfield, Illinois, where, um, not Adolf Hitler, uh, where uh, Lincoln, where Abraham Lincoln grew up. Isn't that, you don't start going, yes, yes, yes. But if they said, hey, everybody, today we're going to go to the H3 podcast and hang out and do, that sounds fun. We must have some fun. You're losing yourselves to other men's debates. You don't even have the right information. I'm telling you, it's a lost cause. You did four years of the politics. Try two years of the phonetics, okay? You're not going to school anyone. No one's impressed. Everyone hates you for it, and you hate everyone for it. It's destroyed your lives. We must stop this. With Biden comes a new day. And that day is black, like <laughs> the teeth of Kamala Harris. What's blacker, Kamala Harris's bad tooth or her skin? Listen, I hate everybody in politics, and that's the way it should be. Don't discuss it. Don't get into it unless you're a PhD. In government class, you could do this. But come on, it's like you guys were all in economics class all day. Book reports. School. School sucks. Have I convinced anybody? Can you spread this? Because we need it. Revenge of the Sis. Everyone's convinced. Revenge of the Sis is like watching your teacher tell you a bunch of lies. Snap out of it. Guys, snap out of it. The next time you hear someone discussing politics, go, wait, 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 wait. what am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? If it were a movie, you'd turn it off. If it were a song, you'd turn it off. But you've allowed your podcasts to completely... And by the way, there's been no information over this last... No new information over the last four years. Gavin McInnes, Stephen Crowder. It's the same rhetoric over and over and over. No different than what Kumal's doing. At least Kumal makes movies. Stephen Crowder just makes people mad. At least Kumail has other things going on in his life. You don't want to be Kumail, do you? Get the fuck off Twitter. Get out of politics. Take it from me, the happiest host in podcasting. I won't let you down. Thank you. And that's it.